everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are taking the third suggestion from my man, Robert Davis. It's a football suggestion, and it is my first look at the legend, Jack Youngblood. Apparently, he is one of the great tough guys in NFL history. He played the entire 1979 playoff run, including Super Bowl, uh, um, 11, 14, Super Bowl 14, against the Pittsburgh Steelers with a fractured left fibula. He also played in the 1980 Pro Bowl with that same injured leg. I had, I had heard about his injured leg. Look guys, my man Robert not only sent me an awesome starter pack for all sorts of teams, but he also sent me a Rams snapback from the 1990s when he had a stall selling them at the game and he got Jack Youngblood to sign it. So I have a hat from the 1990s, 20 years old, with Jack Youngblood's signature on it. Now I haven't done any research on him, I honestly don't know if he's still alive, but he is one of the toughest players in NFL history. So right now, well, I'm gonna have to adjust it first, but I'm gonna put this on, and we are going to look up Jack Youngblood for the first time on this channel. So if you're interested in that, stick around, I'm going to roll the intro, and I'll see you in a second. The quicker you're here, the faster you go, that's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Okay everybody, what have we got here? He is in the Hall of Fame, and he's an absolute legend, and he played with a, a broken leg, I believe. Now, what video have you suggested, mate? It's five minutes and six seconds long, I believe it's that one at the top. It's called Top 10 Gutsiest Performances, Jack Youngblood. You ready, guys? I'm ready. Oh! Well, I wasn't ready for that. I do like this hat, man. I really do. This psychedelic city of freeways, free spirits, and free love was a bad trip for Jack Youngblood. When I came to Los Angeles, it was, it was a horrifying experience. I was supposed to stay for like three days. I jumped on the plane after the second day, left, could not stand this place, was totally petrified. I'd never seen that, you know, that many people in my entire life. 61. But the scariest thing was how easily the rookie defensive end was flattened. <laughs> He made uncomfortable mistakes until pass rushing became as simple as one, two, three. Speed, quickness, and finesse. Knowing your game, knowing what to do to instantaneously be able to react to what a larger man can do to you. Once you passed him, as a um, as a defensive end. Oh no, what's he defensive end? Defensive tackle. <laughs> Well, if he's down to 235 pounds, I hate to think what he started at. Jack Youngblood is one of the greatest people I've ever known to have on your ball club when things are going bad because he will pick you back up, he'll turn you around, and won't let your players get down. That's what you want on your team. So he's just a beast on defense. Although he was a man of action, Sack his machine. heart was as bad as his bike. Jack talks all the <laughs> There we I go. Mean, the guy never shuts up. There we go. And he he goes into this falsetto voice when he gets excited. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it would break glass. Jimmy Hart Let's hear it. was our quarterback. It was my job to protect Jimmy. And all game long, whenever I'm blocking Jack, Jack would be going, Jimmy, 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 here I come, Jimmy. <laughs> Jack. Go young blood. He's got some pace too. Pro football, Hollywood handsome, cowboy tough. He 
plate muddied and bloodied, and won the red badge of courage for enduring more than his share of pain on this battlefield. I thought I'd been bit by a spider, and I just had some swelling in there. The third day comes along and Fuck, look at him. getting rather bothersome a nuisance. Couldn't bend my face. Far out, right, man. He's got a mean body. Just couldn't, put my, couldn't put my watch on. Things like that. There were indications that something might not be quite right. So I, so I go in, the trainer looks at it, he almost faints. So at that, I'm saying to myself, something is bad wrong here. He jumps on the phone, they call the doctors, one thing leads to another. I'm in the hospital that evening in uh, emergency surgery. And they open me up and pull out this foot-long hot dog. In a playoff game at Texas. What? What? What was that? What? 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 What was the hot dog? <laughs> couldn't bend my fingers, couldn't put my more than his share of pain on this battlefield. I thought I'd been bit by a spider, and I just blood clot. The third day comes along, and it's getting rather bothersome, a nuisance. Couldn't bend my fingers, couldn't put my couldn't put my watch on. Things like that. There were indications that something might not be quite right. So I so I go in. The trainer looks at it. He almost faints. So at that, I'm saying to myself, something is bad wrong here. He jumps on the phone. They call the doctors. One thing leads to another. I'm in the hospital that evening in uh, emergency surgery. And they open me up and pull out this foot-long hot dog. Fuck. That's dangerous. In a playoff game at Texas Stadium, young blood's right leg was caught in a cowboy vice and snapped. Here's the story. It was swollen. This is what I want to hear. You could feel the knot. You could feel where the leg had been broken. The doctors are all looking at it and they're feeling it and they're going, no, 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 you can't do this. I said, tape the thing up and we'll worry about it when the game's over. Win, lose, or draw, then that's the time to worry about it. You can't worry about it now. I can still walk on it and still run. Tape it up. Give me you can still it. run? And let's go play. <laughs> what kind of beast was this guy? Ah! Youngblood returned and with him came victory. The next week, number 85 was knocked down. But it was the Buccaneers who were knocked out of the NFC Championship. Oh, he's still going in hard, man. He played his third game on a broken leg in the Super Bowl. It was my responsibility to be an inspirational player, play by example. Even to defeat, he played with a style that made him a star. And the toughness that made him a hero. I don't consider myself tough. I think I consider myself a nut sometimes <laughs> for some of the things that I did. If I could have done anything any different, it would be that I would still be able to play. I loved it. And it was so thrilling that I didn't want to miss one minute of it. Yeah. He just loved it. He loved it. Well, Jack Youngblood, I have to say that we aren't going to watch that one. We are going to just look you up just for a second. I want to see what you're... I want to see what your playing weight was, or how tall. 6'3", what have we got here? 6'4", 245 pounds, although I assume it was probably a little bit more than that when he played. He's a one-team man, the Los Angeles Rams from 71 to 84, seven Pro Bowls, and uh, 202 games. He had 151 and a half quarterback sacks. That's freaking ridiculous. What have we got here? He's got some records for the Rams. Most consecutive games played, 201. Most career sacks in the playoffs, eight and a half. Most playoff starts, 17. Most career safeties, tied with two. Second most career sacks for the, for the LA Rams in history, 151.5. I would have thought I would have thought that would probably be the most, the most sacks in history. Let's look that up. 200 by Bruce Smith. Holy shit. Reggie White, 198. Kevin Green, 160. Where are we? Where are you, buddy? You're not there. Where's Youngblood? Sack. Is this, it could be because they didn't count them properly before a certain year. Is that right? 
Okay, so okay. I think I'm pretty sure after looking at this, I'm pretty sure sex started being counted in 1982 onwards. Is that right? When did sex start being counted? 1982. The NFL did not officially begin compiling sex until 1982. Okay. I worked it out. Thank God for that. Anyways, guys, look. If you have enjoyed this video, if you do like Jack Youngblood, if you, if you like me, if you want to support the channel and its growth, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. I want to say, Robert, that is it for today. I'm sorry. We've got two that I haven't been able to do. The Pittsburgh Penguins, we've got Mario Lemieux, and we've got the Pittsburgh Pirates, Roberto Clement. They're both absolute legends in their own right, and when I do have time to do them, I will, but for now, I'm just gonna take a break. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, like I said, hit the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.